Welcome to our brief topic, Supremacy of Constitution. Introduction. Constitution can be simply be defined as a body of principal rules and regulation that govern a state. Constitution can be either written or unwritten. It is constitution is the supreme rule of a country, whether written or unwritten, it is turned out to be the supreme rule of the country. It forms the be the original basis where other rules derive their validity. So that one marks the supremacy of the constitution. So the constitution it is supreme whether written or unwritten. So written con constitution is also referred to as codified type of constitution, which is codified, which is written in a formal document, where unwritten is an codified type of constitution which is not contained in any form of document, for instance, the Magna Carta in Britain. Well, written constitution, a good example is the United Nations Constitution, the Kenyan Constitution, which they are codified in nature. One of the supremacy of constitution is validity. So, the rule in the state always derives their validity from the constitution. So, any rule in any state must derive it Validity from constitution, be it written constitution or be it a written constitution. Any rule which do not derive validity from the constitution is termed to be null and void. Source of rule. Any source of rule contradicting the constitution is reader to be null and void. For instance, any source of rule, e.g. in Islamic rule, African customary rule, which can be contradicting the term of constitution, it is narrow and void, and which is infringing the right of people. For instance, the in African customary law, there was something referred to as female genital mutilation, FGM. It is against the human right. So, if, if somebody tried to defend that case using the African customary law, which was accepting F, FGM, and it is in contradiction with constitution. The constitution is the supreme rule of the world, so it is against the rule of law. Omission. Any omission in contravention with the constitution is termed to be null and void. Null and void. So any omission in contravention to constitution is null and void, and it is not enforceable. So, uncharitable nature of the constitution. The legality of constitution cannot be charged in any court of law or in any government organ. So, the legality of constitution is independent and supreme. It cannot be charged in any court of law and in any government organ, be it legislature, be it executive, be it judiciary, cannot charge the legality of the constitution. The, constitu the constitution is always right. Government structure. The constitution is supreme since it is it enshrines the government structure of any state and defines various organs of the government. So the constitution is used to make the pillars which make up the government. So the constitution analyzes how the government should be formed, providing the arms of government. For instance, in Kenya, the constitution tried to providing to specify the function of various organs of the government, for instance, the legislature, the judiciary, and the executive. The constitution states they are all, they are members. So the constitution makes the pillars of how the government is structured or formed. So another one is the constitution provides the highest office in the world. So the constitution is supreme since it establishes the highest office in the world, granting the office its mandate to govern the state. So in most cases, the constitution provides the office of the president, for instance, in the country which adopts the presidential system. For instance, in countries like Britain, which adopt the parliamentary, the parliamentary system, the constitution is used to provide the office it provide the office of the prime minister who is the head of the government to provide the office of the monarch who are ceremonial ceremoniously the head of the or the ceremoniously the head of the state so it provides those offices 
giving them their function, how they should operate, their members are stipulated by the constitution. I hope that marks the end of our topic. Thank you for watching. Kindly remember to subscribe and comment about the videos. Thank you.